Welcome back into Wisconsin Women. We're cozied up on the couch here at Monroe Furniture Center. In just a little bit, we're going to talk to owner Jerry Beckman about this product line that we're sitting on. Here's a hint. It's made in Wisconsin. And speaking of made in Wisconsin, one of the coolest things, in fact, we've got <laughs> Oda, Wisconsin. We're going to talk a little bit about that with Christy Moe. It's so nice to see you. Nice to see you again, Jessa. Thanks so, for having me. Yes, yeah. you are the owner of Zotica Perfum Perfumery, and you have amazing scents that are based on your astrological sign. Yes. And now you have Oda, Wisconsin. Tell us a little bit about it and what it smells like. Yes, yeah, so it's part of my new collection called the Wanderlust Collection, which is um, perfume that is inspired by beloved places. So just like the Zodiac perfumes where it's based on your birthday, this is also based on the birthday of Wisconsin. It's essentially the date that the state was founded um, and was admitted to the union as a state. How neat. Oh, yes. great backstory. I didn't know that. So since you based it on 1848, if my history is correct. Good job. Um, you in. have so many things that you could have put into this perfume. How did you make a decision that what was gonna make this what you wanted it to be? So I actually did something called a natal birth chart. It's an astrological, essentially a, a map of the sky when the state was founded. And then I looked at the different constellations and where they were in the sky and what was like the most significant of, that, of the placements. And then I used those uh, zodiac signs as part of the formulation. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so, um, so the birthday or the founding date of Wisconsin is May 29th. So okay. it's a Gemini, so it's a Gemini sun. But then it also has um, some Mars in there. So the Aries with the Mars placement is really important. There's Libra, mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of Pisces. So it's a formulation specific to that founding date of Wisconsin. So it's meant to capture kind of the magic of the founding of our state. And then also I use different notes to re really create this feeling of how Wisconsin is home. So it feels kind of warm, it feels mm -hmm. kind of woody, but it has a beautiful, bright, sweet note when it opens up. And that's meant to feel like white clover in the summer, in the spring and summertime. Mm -hmm. When you're walking in the woods, that's mm -hmm. what is filling the air. So it feels like home. Amazing. Neat is that. Yes. You know, there's a lot yep. that you put into your work, and I've been an admirer of that since the first time I met you. You already have a very successful line of perfumes. What was your why behind wanting to create this one? Yeah, so I, it's, it was actually an opportunity that I had. Um, I go to New York a lot to sell, even though everything is made right here in Monroe. And I, I um, had an opportunity to be launching into LaGuardia Airport. And so I create a New York City perfume. Mm. And then it was so well received there that I'm like, okay, well, I have to do my home state. And then the whole wanderlust thing, especially right now in COVID, where we can't travel, we can actually be inspired by these places that we would love to travel to right now as a little escape getaway, mm -hmm. like a mental getaway. You can do that through scent. Yeah. So, Neat. yeah. And it's such a, I mean, it, she sprayed a little for us. Yes. It is amazing. <laughs> it is just such a wonderful, as you said, warm, cool, friendly. Who is this designed for? Who did you have in mind? So it's definitely for not only the people of Wisconsin to have a scent that reminds them of home, but this would be a great gift for people who mm -hmm. have moved away from the state, who you may still have family or friends here, but this would be a great gift to remind them of Wisconsin. Um, so it's it's meant to be something that anyone who has a love or has a heart for Wisconsin, mm -hmm. they can wear it. Yeah. I have people, I've done so much testing with my existing customers and whether they're young or old, um, whether they're male or female, like everyone loves it. It's meant to be a unisex scent. What a fun thing to do to maybe have this in your guest room or something. And as you have visitors, oh, nice. they can wear it and maybe bring it home with them. To That's a great idea. To remind them of their visit. Definitely. So what you do is really different. I mean, you've explained a little bit about mm -hmm. your process. Mm -hmm. And what you do is different from a lot of mainstream perfumes. So how is Oda, Wisconsin different from something that is mainstream? Yes, I'm so glad you asked that, Jessa, because mm -hmm. I started making perfume out of an own personal need because mainstream 
mainstream scents have so many chemicals in it and I get migraines. And so a mainstream cologne or perfume can really trigger a migraine for me. And for about 30% of the population, mm -hmm. um, it's true for them too, either a headache or allergy. So I wanted to create these perfumes as something that anyone can wear, that they're not gonna be irritating. So it's more of a natural formulation um, without all those you know, parabens or phthalates that we're all more conscious of right now. Yeah, really good. I can't stop smelling it. I know, <laughs> it's so smelling good. it in it the break. It is so good. I'm gonna brag on you for a second yeah. before we head to break. Make sure you go to Christie's website, zodicaperfumery.com, because the scents that you have are incredible, and you might find something that's perfect for you. In fact, I know you will, because a lot of it's by the sign. So thanks yes. so much for joining us today, Christy. We'll be right back with more after the break.